Hobart has history. It's got bars and dining. It's Tasmania's state capital. What it hasn't had in recent days is a visit from the Prime Minister or the opposition leader. So where in Tasmania have Scott Morrison and Anthony Albanese been? They've been in northern Tasmania, hey, to visiting breweries How are you? Mate, and wineries, which Hobart has plenty of, by the way. Just have a little <laughs> sip. <laughs> the Prime Minister announced millions of dollars for Australia's Antarctic division, but he made that announcement at Triabunna on the east coast, about 100 kilometres away from the Antarctic division's headquarters. So why are the federal politicians staying north of Hobart in the lead up to the federal election? It's because that's where the marginal seats and the swinging voters are. In the south, in the electorate of Clark, an independent MP won by a whopping 22.1% margin at the last election. So the Liberals and Labor don't have much chance of picking up that seat. Franklin is held by Labor with a margin of 12.2%, so it's considered safe for Labor. But in the North, Bass was won by the Liberals by only about 560 votes at the last election, a tiny 0.4% margin. Bass voters are unpredictable. They haven't re-elected a sitting MP in more than 20 years. So both Labor and the Liberals have a good chance of winning the seat. To get rid of the government, you've got to change the representation for the people of Bass. Braddon in Tasmania's northwest has also swung between Liberal and Labor members in recent years. The Liberals currently hold it with a 3.1% margin. And the Liberals think they've got a good chance of winning back Lyons from Labor, which holds the seat with a 5.2% margin. Great to be with you again today, this time in another part of Lyons. That's why the Prime Minister made his Antarctic announcements at Triabunna in Lyons and not at the Australian Antarctic Division in Franklin. So if you're in one of those northern marginal electorates, you can expect to spot more of the Prime Minister and the opposition leader, especially once the official election campaign kicks off. And if you're in the south of Tasmania, well, we'll just have to make do with enjoying our drinks in peace.